the world is changing constantly so is india after independence the educational revolution has brought a lot of change in our society today almost all the girls are educated well qualified independent and self sufficient which is indeed a proud feeling for all of us but you see a coin always has two sides the consequences of this revolution has increased the marriageable age for both girls and boys specifically talking about girls this marriageable age has come up to 30 to 32 and sometimes 34 and more people often say that age is just a number you should be mentally and psychologically prepared to get married yes that's right but remember we are living in the world which has certain rules regulated by our nature itself and that is why getting married at the right age is extremely important today's trending cycle goes somewhat like this by the time a girl finishes her graduation she is 23 then 2 to 3 years of post graduation she becomes 25 26 after that one or two years of job she becomes 28 then at the age of 28 even if she is mentally prepared to get married she'll have certain fixed expectations and a picture of her who would be husband in her mind and many a times these expectations are so unrealistic that can extend their matrimonial search period for 3 to 4 years then on an average at the age of 32 if that girl uh, is getting married then as per trend again many couples are going for family planning for 3 to 4 years because they want to enjoy their married life have fun travel and do some financial managements for future and by the time they want to extend their family they want baby that woman's age comes up to 35 36 as per report many women are getting problem conceiving at this age and that is why the infertility rate has gone up to 11% in india there are many other reasons for it to name a few increased marriageable age uh, unnatural family planning techniques im, uh, hormonal imbalance pre existing hormonal imbalance due to pcod pcos thyroid imbalance obesity and most importantly eating habits fast food junk food packed food all such foods will directly hamper your immunity and can affect your reproductive system and that is why many gynecologists are suggesting that ideal age to get pregnant is between 23 to 30 because many women are getting into menopause after 35 one more important issue i want to address here is the percentage of special care children like down syndrome autism cerebral palsy is also increasing and the one of the major reason for this is advanced age of pregnancy and the upbringing of such children is not so easy a mother has to compromise on so many of her dreams to look after such baby so imagine the life of that girl from where it starts where it comes and ends i personally feel that every girl should be educated every girl should be independent but at the same time our education should bring some sort of clarity in our thought Basically the concept of marriage should be very liberating one should decide why do you want to get married for love for pleasure for companionship for financial stability for emotional security or you want to form a complete holistic family if you don't want to extend your family if you don't want children then fine you can get married at any age that's doesn't matter that doesn't matter but If you want to form a complete family you want children then remember age is just not a number there is certain significance with each increasing year so girls be wise think practically and shape your life the way you want